welcome back to our series on certificate rotations. We have so far completed a round one and round two of this certificate rotation and are now heading into round three to delete the old root certificate. Now, this is not considered an optional step as it is not time indicative. You probably still, however, if you have an expiring NATS, do still see your warning at the top of the dashboard saying, warning certificates expiring within three months. This has to do with the fact that you have two distinct NATS entries in your deployed certificate lists because you have two root CA NATS pairs. So this would be considered CA1, NATS1, CA2, and NATS2. We are, however, at the end of round two where we have activated NATS uh, CA2 and we have recreated all VMs after having regenerated the non-configurables. So now all of the new non-configurable certificates and NATS2 have been deployed to the VMs. You do, however, still see the original NATS in this list. So to delete this NATS, you will also need to delete this root certificate. So looking at the documentation, we very specifically grab the certificate GUID, and then we do a curl where we are posting a delete. Let's go ahead and grab this GUID, head over to our pre-configured documentation here. Let's go ahead and add that in the background and fire it off. We've gotten back a status 200. So looking back at our output here, this would be the same as if we were checking by a curl. So if we refresh it, we are now down to one certificate. Make sure that you have deleted the one that was active false as the active true as your current root certificate. Now, if we go over here and refresh this listing and we search for NATS, we would only see the one. So to complete this rotation, you'll have to make sure to go back into your Bosch director, director config, click recreate all VMs as this checkbox unchecks itself after every successful apply change. Go through and then do a, if you want that, full apply changes on all tiles once again with recreate and update all VMs. That is a crucial for all steps. And this apply change you want to do sort of in the same controlled circumstances that you were doing with the prior. So that way any VM that did not get updated through the recreator update errands that does go into a unresponsive agent state gets recreated using the command uh, Bosch D service instance deployment recreate. Um, and it does sometimes happen that one gets missed. So it's good to do this under controlled circumstances. So we've gone ahead and we've prepped our apply changes. So let's go ahead and kick this apply change off. Now, and that should be it. We'll touch back in a moment just to verify all of the details once this apply changes has finished.